Hello class of 2020. I have the immense pleasure to announce the two members of the class of 2020 who have been chosen by the faculty and staff to be awarded the much coveted Co-Founders Award. Started in 2015, this award was, has been given to two students who live out Agape, the school's upper school code. These two students have been recognized as living to the best of their ability Agape. They are adaptable, grateful, aware, patient, and, of course, excellent. These attributes form the word agape, a Greco-Christian term referring to love, the highest form of love, charity, and the love of God for, for man and of man for God. As defined by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., agape is an overflowing love which seeks nothing in return. When you rise to this love at this level, you love all, not because you like them, not because their ways appeal to you, but you love them because God loves them. This is what Jesus, he meant when he said to love your enemies. The, the co-founders award is sitting on the table in, in the front of this room, and it's engraved with the words of names of students who've received this award in past years. The bold sits prominently in the school's trophy case in the main hallway. So let's begin. It brings me much joy to introduce our first recipient. This student demonstrates the aspects of agape, and not only in their daily habits, but their routines. They push themselves in all classes, even those that are especially hard for them. They treat everyone with kindness, no matter who they are. They are hardworking and take their work seriously. They are, what one teacher said, is a steady, silent leader. And this student participated in activities and served as an acolyte with seriousness, respect, and holiness. I'm excited today to announce the first recipient of the Class of 2020 Co-Founders Award, Shakim Sly. Congratulations, Shakim. Secondly, it brings me much joy to introduce our second recipient. This student has shown an extensive amount of growth during their four years at St. James School. They are a perfect example of calm in the storm and steady goodness. One teacher said, solid citizen. Another word that comes to mind is grace, and yet another from a teacher is peace. This student exercised awareness dur during their time at St. James School, both in person and during virtual lessons. They are deep thinkers who work hard to make space for people who may have different ideas or ways of being. They're not afraid to ask hard and deep questions. They show gratitude in many ways, all unique to their personality. One of the great demonstrations of their gratitude, patience, and excellence came this year as they helped out with the SRC. When this teacher pictures this student walking out of the doors and showing the world what it means to be a St. James student, they see this person. One teacher said, this student is a gift to our community and is a loving, thoughtful, young person. They are driven by their goals and they are a significant reason why it's cool to be smart at St. James School. This student knows, knows when it's time to work and when it's time to play. They're always respectful and responsible. Mr. Kasevich, myself, and Father Kellner appreciate that this student attended almost every weekend trip that St. James offered. So without further ado, I am excited to announce the second recipient of the Co-Founders Award of the Class of 2020, Max Austin. Congratulations, Max. Here's the bowl. Congratulations to both of you. Have a great career in high school. I look forward to seeing you. God bless. I promise we'll take the world to his feet and move mountains. I'm your day, rise up. I love that song. It is our testimony. Greetings, family, friends, teachers, and staff at St. James School. My name is Deja Ballinger. I am honored to stand here, be stand before you today at St. James Class of 2020 Co-Valley 
Who would have imagined March 13th being our last day on St. James campus? Miss out on those things that, were, that we were looking forward to, such as our agape dance watching DC trip, the in-person high school dress, and house cup. As far as the house cup, I guess COVID-19 was trying to protect everyone from being with hot smoke, LOL. Overall, while this chapter may not have ended the, the way we expected it, it will not take away from the many memories we gained here at St. James School. I'm going to miss Mr. Garrell Sykes Gilman, Ms. LaRuta Bates in class of our world topics, Ms. Stewart Cyphers in art class, Ms. Jones Hyphen, Mr. Jones hyping us up every time we got a math problem right, Ms. Break doing fishbowl assignments, A Day in the Life of Ms. A. Carroll, Mr. Austin and Mr. Lee Crackett Jones, by the county giving the best comebacks when someone says something off the wall. Ms. John for her outfit, I love to compliment her boy. Ms. D drop us all around the world. And last, Ms. S. Carroll telling her pony jokes that still find a way to our tummy. But most of all, I will never forget the lit car parade that was given to us, given to each one of us, along with our gifts. Thank you for looking out for us and women that Avery and Mary took. To my fellow scholars, class of 2020, hold your heads up high and know that you are all fighters. We are surviving the COVID-19 pandemic. We advocated against racism and the giant coordinates didn't get us. What a year. We are a class that cannot be broken. As you continue, as you continue on your journey, remember that education is the most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself, and know that it's okay to be different because those differences are what makes us unique. Dream big, never give up, and always pay it forward. To the coolest eighth grade class, congratulations, you made it, Liza. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Harriet Tubman. Hello, my name is Kariah Hunt, and I'm one of the valedictorians of the class of 2020. Thank you, everyone, for joining us to celebrate our achievements. As we sit here today, we think about our past memories that we have accomplished or even pushed through them. We are thinking about how our middle school years are coming to an end. I would say our journey is not over yet. We still have goals to achieve and plans to make. The next chapter is the biggest chapter. I'm confident that everyone has goals for themselves and are really ready to achieve and go through challenges in high school. I'll speak for everyone when I say, I've, I'll say we've been through a lot, but that never stopped us from achieving our personal goals. I appreciate the time I spent with all of you. We had a rocky year, but we made it. Look how far we come. We had some good times from trips to community circles to even just hanging out. We are all amazing teenagers who are now sprouting to a new environment. I will always remember the times where we had to work as a team. We always got the job done because in reality, we always carried ourselves as one big team. I remember when we were just sitting in class, laughing and joking and just having a good time. There was never really a dull moment with us. That's why I think we're always the favorites. Not just me, but everyone's thoughts and decisions made us who we are today. It was tough to not let our fears and insecurities get the best of us. We've learned a lot about ourselves. we realized that everything doesn't need a reaction in order to prove your point. Things happen for a reason, and you'll always be learning and grow from it. One thing I would never forget is how Ms. S. Carroll was always hard on me, and I wouldn't never understand why. I thought it was because she didn't like me or had something against me. As I was around her more, I learned a lot. I learned that it wasn't about not liking me. It was the fact that she saw potential in me that I didn't see. She showed me the way and helped me when I needed it the most during school and wanted to thank I want to thank her for that. In the same way, we always had a support system from their parents, the teachers, and even the students. They taught us the ways in order to get where we are. Thank you to all the teachers and who helped me and everyone else through this process, especially the graduate support. To the parents who volunteer or even chaperone or even just help in any way possible. Thank you for helping us to start pursuing our dreams and goals. To the class of 2020, we will never forget what we have been through. In the next four years, it's your time to shine. Make boss moves. You can never erase the memories you have, but you can use a pen to draw over those mistakes or even wipe them out. I will always miss the sad and the good days we had were here, but it's time for a new start. Also, if you're still on a rocky path, it's never too late to get on a smooth path. You will have still have high school to start over and make a better life for yourself. So why not do it? Start slow and make your way up. 
So as a chapter and and we begin a new journey, always remember that you stay always remember stay true to yourself and never let anybody tell you that you can't because you can. You can achieve anything you put your mind to and when that life goes you lemon turn them into lemonade. Thank you. As a member of House Benevolentia, Max has shown that kindness always pays off. A quiet force to be reckoned with, especially on the dodgeball court, Max brings a level head to all areas of his education. Max, you are a great leader and an example to all. As you head to Mercy Career and Technical High School, always remember that you can do this, you can get smarter, your work is important to your future, and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Max Austin. This message is from Mr. Austin, Deja. As a member of House Humilitas, Deja has shown that over four tremendous years, young teens and strong young ladies can make tremendous growth in the ways that they demonstrate what being humble looks like. Deja has put time and energy in with younger house members as a mentor and with the amount of work needed to do to be successful in both lower and upper school and is humble enough to not seek praise and love every house. Asia, my hope is that you are proud of your accomplishments, achieving your goals and being the best person you can be with yourself and others. You should strive to challenge and push yourself every day to go above and beyond at Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School. Asia, always remember that you can do this, you can get smarter, your work is important to your future, and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Deja Ballinger. As a member of House Patientia, Adrienne has been a guidepost for her fellow classmates, demonstrating what it means to have patience with yourself, with others, and with the world. Adrienne, you have a unique capability to approach issues of social justice with an immense well of compassion. You have clear eyes that I hope you will always use to find and alleviate the suffering of the world, starting this year at Mercy. Never forget how strong you are and how deeply you are loved. Adrian, always remember, you can get smarter, your work is important for your future, and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Adrian Brown. Hello, St. James families and the class of 2020. This is Mr. McDonough. Happy graduation. As a member of House Patientia, Hamira Dolan has shown growth in her patience with others, including her twin sister, Hanira, her teachers, and most importantly, with herself. At her best, this is a young woman overflowing with potential, power, and pride in her family and her community. Amira, my hope is that you remain patient with others and less patient with yourself and our world because we need you to push yourself every day to go higher and higher at Cristo Rey Philadelphia High School to be the young, faith-filled leader that God created you to be. Amira, remember that you belong here. You can do this. You can get smarter, and your work every day is so important for your future. You truly belong here on Clearfield Street. Please join me in congratulating Hamira Dolan. As a member of House Industria, Hanira has shown that hard work pays off. Hanira could write the book on diligence. Hanira has proven since fifth grade that she believes in the power of a good education, and she has pushed herself towards excellence as a result. Hanira, always remember that you can do this. You can get smarter. Your work is important for your future, and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Hanira Dolan.
As a member of House Humilitas, Riley has been a mentor to his house and classmates and has shown leadership skills beyond his years. He has important qualities of curiosity, kindness, and I have always appreciated his sense of humor these past few years at the lunch table. He will succeed in everything that he takes on in high school. I am so proud of him and honored to be in Humilitas with him. As a leader in House Benevolentia, Kariah has shown extraordinary kindness and dedication to the St. James community over the past two years. She has set a clear example of academic excellence daily, while simultaneously working to guide our school community in ways of social justice. Kariah knows how to fight for the things that are important, and she always sticks up for those who are in need. Kariah is enthusiastic, brilliant, passionate, and the future of our country. Kariah, my hope is that you continue to use the kindness that you have to guide your choices as you move, move forward and you lead our world. I have no doubt that you're going to make history. Please give, give me a shout out when you do. My only sadness is that I was only able to be your teacher for two years, but I'm so glad that you jumped right in. I'm very proud of you. Kariah, as you head to William Penn Charter School this fall, remember that you can do this, you can get smarter, your work is important to all of our futures, and that you will always belong right here at St. James School. Congratulations to Kariah. Hi, Zyree. I got my green on. Go Industria. As a member of House Industria, Zyree has shown that he is strong, industrious, caring, and funny. Zyri, your determination and hard work at St. James will take you so far in high school and be beyond. Zyri, always remember that you can do this, you can get smarter, your work is important for your future, and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Zyri Isley. As a member of House Humilitas, Lola inspires others to greatness by being true to herself. Lola has spent her time at St. James taking her education by the hand and running into the wind with it by exploring everything she loves and making learning her own. She is an inspiration to others because her leadership skills shine when she is unabashedly herself and shows others that it is a truly beautiful thing to know and be yourself. Lola, as you head off to Cristo Rey High School, remember you can get smarter. Your work is important to your future, and you belong here. Everyone, please join me in congratulating Miss Lola Lane. We love you. As a member of House Patientia, Kanaya has demonstrated so much improvement in her level of patience. Although I have not known Kanaya all four years of her academic experience at St. James, I have seen her growth from a rising eighth grader to an eighth grader and now to a ninth grader. Kanaya, I have known you to be mild-mannered, easygoing, and one to always be ready to serve. One anecdote of how you are a living definition of patience was that time at upper school mass when I really needed someone to read the psalm verses when our initial person was absent. You volunteered, were prepared, even when I forgot to cue you to go to the podium, walked with such poise, and spoke with such conviction. If that is not true patience, I don't know what is. Kanaya. As the saying says, not all heroes wear capes. And you are living proof that that saying is true. Kanaya, girl, you have demonstrated all the qualities destined for greatness at Mercy Careers and Technical High School and beyond. Everyone, please join me in congratulating Kanaya McKenzie. This is from Chef Anthony. As a member of House Industria, Amari has shown over the years at St. James diligence and strength. Always remember that your hard work and persistence will carry you very far in your endeavors. 
Don't forget that you belong here, you can do this, you can get smarter, and this work is important to your future. Please join me in congratulating Amari Page. As a member of House Men of Valencia, Halim brought so much joy and happiness to his class, our house, and my lunch table. His sense of humor will be very much missed. I'm confident the kindness he has learned and practiced during his time as a Benny will help him become a valued member of his high school class. I can't wait to see what the future holds for Halim. Remember, Halim, you can do this. You can get smarter. The work is important for you, and you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Halim. Kareem, Kareem, this is Mr. Lee. I just want to let you know, man, I'm so, so, so proud of you. I watched you overcome so many obstacles, and now you're stepping into manhood. Um, please continue to excel in all that you do, and keep your spirits up. Be determined, be motivated. Um, God sent you to this earth to complete a lot of missions, and I have to say, from what I've seen, you definitely... Um, exceed his expectations. So I love you. Please continue to let your light shine and be the kind, hearted, beautiful, spirit young man that you've always been. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. And let's make it happen. Peace. As a member of House Patientia, Kair has shown that persistence and steady determination pay off. Kair's patience with himself and with others in all situations, from work to play and ballroom dancing, make him stand out as a team player and a leader. Kair, you have grown so much and in so many ways, and now you're ready to take it to a new level as you head off to Tech Free Air Charter School. And never forget, that you can do this. You can get smarter. This work is important to your future and you belong here. Please join us in congratulating Kair. As a member of House Benevolentia, India has demonstrated kindness throughout her time in St. James. Though India came to St. James just for eighth grade, she added to our community in a beautiful and genuine way. She is always asking her friends if they need help, if they are okay, reaches out to those in need, stands up for what is right, and sparks joy with her giggles and that smile that I'm gonna miss every day. India, as you take on your next journey in high school, always remember that you can do this. You can get smarter, your work is important for your future, and that you belong here and everywhere. Please join me in congratulating India Powell. In the book of Proverbs, we read, the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance. As a member of House Industria, Shakim has demonstrated that hard work and determination do indeed lead to abundance. Shakim has worked hard in the classroom, in the recess yard, in the church, and in whatever he is given to do. Shakim's gifts have been nurtured through his diligence and it will continue to lead to abundance for you, Shakim, as you begin your next adventure at Crystal Ray High School. Shakim, always remember that you can do this. You can get smarter. Your work is important to your future and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Shakim Sly. As a member of House Industria, Sabria has worked hard since the moment I met her, the summer before her fifth grade year. In that moment, she was excited to read a challenging new book, Wonder, while she waited patiently for her orientation to begin. It is that spirit of diligence in every single moment, working hard as a student, as a friend, and as a person, that will lead Sabria to incredible success at Perky Yeoman and beyond. Sabria, Always remember that you belong here. You can do this. You can always get smarter and that this work is important to your future. Please join me in congratulating Sabria Thompson.
As a member of House Patientia, Tamira has shown how important patience is for oneself and when supporting others. Tamira has patience with younger house members, her peers, and has shown patience with herself while working to achieve her goals. Tamira, my hope is that you continue to be patient with yourself and others as you continue to reach your goals and have success at Little Flower. Tamira, always remember, you can do this. You can get smarter. Your work is important for your future and that you belong here. Please join me in congratulating Tamira Tomlin. Love, Miss Padilla.